Hey there, beautiful people. This is Mark Siegel, your resident EdTech specialist with a quick uh, EdTech video for you about setting up your gradebook in PowerSchool. So as you can see, I'm already in the gradebook, which is the PowerTeacher Pro, and I'm going to set up two things. Now, first, I'm going to show you categories, and then I'm going to show you how to calculate all your grades for the marking period with your setting up those categories once they're already in there. So the first things first is if you do not have your categories set up or you want to check your categories, just come up over to the A plus grading and click the A plus grading and click categories. Now some of them are already district based uh, categories and those will be shown with these little schoolhouses next to it and then there's other ones that you can add for like major minor assessments. So it's all going to be dependent on who your uh, supervisor is and what your department has decided to do for grading. If you do not have major or minor assessments or you want to add something else in that's not already here, you're just going to come over to this plus sign in the upper right hand corner, click plus, click category, and you're going to give the information to that you want to do for your category. So you're going to select which classes it's going to apply to. So in this case, I want it to apply to my ninth grade seminar classes only. So I'm going to click these classes here. I'm not going to touch my innovation and design classes. And I may have to scroll down too. I can see there's some down here. I'm going to leave off my advisor. I'm going to leave them off my innovation and design. And then I'm going to give it a category name. So it's going to be ninth grade seminar projects. And again, you can pick what color you want. There's a bunch of options. Once you're done, you're going to click save. Now, if you don't do that in advance, you can't use that as a category in grading. Now, here's the thing about this that's weird about the assignments is the assignments pull from your categories, but it doesn't necessarily pull from the categories that you are using for your marking period calculations. And I'll show you that in a second. So now, once I've got all my categories set up, I'm going to go over to settings, which is on the left hand side here. I'm going to click traditional grade calculations. And this is how I'm going to, what I'm going to use to calculate the grades for the marking period. So I'm going to, Y1 is done for us, so we can't, we don't want to edit that one. So we're going to edit our marking period grades. Oh, and Qs are graded too. Those are your quarterly grades. So I'm going to modify my marking period grade. I'm going to click on the pencil and it's going to pop up. Now sometimes it pops up with total points, sometimes it pops up with category weighting. It all depends. So what you're going to do is you're going to decide what you're, how you're going to grade the students. If you're doing categories, then you need percentages. If you're doing total points, then you don't need categories, but you can still use categories for each of the assignments. For example, you can still classify homework as homework because it's all total points anyway, it's all going to calculate. But if you are going to say homework is 10% of your grade, well then you might want to put it into category breakdown here. So for example, I'm going to do category weighting and I'm going to change it to major assessments. Now in my class, major assessments is 60% of the grade. Now obviously I can't have 60% of one thing and 40% of nothing. So now I'm going to click this little plus sign in the upper right corner and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go to category weighting. I am going to go to minor assessments and I'm going to make my minor assessments 40% of the grade. And you can see that the percentages now match up. If you are doing more than that, if you're breaking it down into homeworks, projects, etc., then you're going to keep doing that plus sign and keep adding categories and changing the percentages until everything adds up to 100 and you've got all your projects done. At this point, you're going to click Save. Now, I have a lot of these classes that I have to now do. I'm not going to repeat this process over and over again. That's a waste of my time. I'm going to copy everything. So I'm going to come up to this gear or this star that's here and I'm going to click Copy Traditional Grade Calculations. First, I'm going to start from within a class. So I'm going to copy what I just did. So my ninth grade seminar, which is my S1, is the one I'm in right now. And I'm reporting term is M1. I want to copy it to M2. Now, if you had a full year class, you're going to get options M2, M3, and M4 as well. But since mine's a semester class, it, that's how it applies. At the end of this, I'm going to come down to the bottom and click Validate. When I do this, I should only get check marks. I might get blanks, but I should also get check marks. I should never get a red X. If I get a red X, we did something wrong, we have to go back and do it again. At this point, I'm going to click Copy. I have just copied my marking period 1 to my marking period 2 setup, and now everything's the same, and I can double check that. Click on the pencil for M2, and I can see there, there are my major and minor assessments. Now, once you've got the whole class set up, you're going to now do this and copy this again to all of your classes. So copy traditional grade calculations. I'm going to do to another class. The class I'm going to choose is my S1 ninth grade seminar. 
my term is the whole year. And the class I'm going to apply it to is now all of my other ninth grade seminar classes. And I'm just going to click all the way through until all my ninth grade seminar classes have been checked. And now I click validate. And again, what I said was check marks and blanks, check marks and blanks, check marks and blanks, check marks and blanks. No X's, no whammies, no whammies. So here we go. Now I click copy. And now all of my classes have been set up. And you can see that because they're open up. My innovation and design classes are all doing total points. So that is set up by default. And I don't have to worry about this. Now, when I go in and I make a new assignment, I have to make sure that I select a category that is either major or minor assessments. If I choose any other category, it will not calculate in the marking period grade. So if you enter in a score and you see the marking period grade doesn't change for anyone, then you know you chose the wrong category. Okay, so please make sure you watch out for that. Otherwise, your grades won't calculate and you'll have to go back and recalculate everything at the end of the marking period. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. You can post comments here or send me an email. Um, have a great day.